Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's story. It's called Staying Home and it's about some children who have to stay at home to keep safe, just like you. I hope you enjoy it. Staying Home Emily, Harry and Charlie are staying home today. Emily is not going to school. Harry and Charlie are not going to nursery. Mummy and Daddy are not going to work. They wash their paws before they eat. You have to rub your hands together, wash the backs of your hands, make two fists and rub them together, make a wiggly hedgehog with your fingers, rub your fists around your thumb, wash your fingertips. Hooray! You have to keep washing for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday twice. Emily sings, happy birthday Mr Pooh. Harry sings, happy birthday Stinky Bottom. Charlie says, me, and cries because he has to wait. Why can't we go to nursery, says Harry. Because people have been getting ill, says Daddy. If someone who's ill coughs or breathes on you, or if you touch something they've touched or breathed on, you might get sick too. So we have to stay at home to make sure we don't catch it or give it to somebody else. Will it make us really sick? says Emily. It depends, says Daddy. Children mostly just get a little bit sick, but some people get really sick. So we all have to stay at home to keep everyone safe. Will we ever go back to school? says Emily. Yes, says Daddy, but maybe not for a long time. When I'm a hundred? <laughs> before then. When I'm ten? Definitely before you're ten. Before my birthday? Well, maybe not. But you will go back, I promise. After breakfast, Emily has some work from school. She does some writing and reads a book. Harry draws a picture to send to Granny. Granny is one of the people who might get really sick. They can't see her, but they talk to her on the computer. Charlie likes to play with the coloured pencils. Daddy, says Emily, Charlie's making a mess. I want that pencil, says Harry. Mine, says Charlie. Maybe it's time to go out, says Mummy. Daddy does some work on his computer. Mummy takes Emily, Harry and Charlie out on their scooters. They have to wash their hands again before they can go out. As they're going down the street, they see their friends are came. They can't get too close, so they wave and shout, Hello! When they get home, they have to wash their hands again. Then it's lunchtime. After lunch, it's time for Charlie's nap. Emily plays with Lego. Harry and Mummy play a board game. Then Mummy reads them some stories. I like being at home, says Harry. I don't, says Emily. I wish I could go to school. I miss my friends. When Charlie wakes up, they all watch a film. Emily and Harry play a computer game while Daddy and Charlie cook dinner. Emily is cross because Harry isn't sharing. It's my turn, she says. I'm not finished, says Harry. Emily tries to snatch the computer and Harry starts to cry. Daddy comes through from the kitchen. You know, he says, sometimes it's hard being together like this. I know we annoy each other sometimes. But aren't you glad we've got each other? I know how to cheer us up, says Daddy. Let's do some exercise. Then dinner is ready. Why did people start getting sick, says Emily. Well, we get new illnesses all the time, says Mummy. Mostly it's just a new type of cold, but sometimes it's something more serious. It's nobody's fault, it's just something that happens. After dinner, Mummy and Daddy clean the table and sideboards with bleach. 
they wipe the doorknobs and light switches. That'll kill that silly virus, says Emily. Then it's bath time. Mummy comes in to say good night. Is everyone staying home? says Emily. Not everyone, says Mummy, but lots of people in countries all over the world. And of course, some people are working. They're looking after people who are sick, are trying to find new medicines. They're driving lorries and delivering post and growing crops and putting out fires. I wish I were a firefighter, says Emily. Perhaps, says Mummy. But what we're doing is just as important. We're saving lives too. Mummy and Daddy kiss Emily and Harry and Charlie goodnight. Outside their window, the stars are shining. The streets are quiet. People go from house to house, delivering food and checking on their neighbours. And in the houses, people are waiting. They're not going out. They're not seeing their friends. They're staying at home. Until everyone is safe again. Thank you for listening to the story.